Evening YouTube, it's a Friday. Oh, I have grouted. There you go. That looks better. Obviously the tiles have got to be washed down. Uh, Given the quick skim over. But uh, yeah, we're all grouted up. Um, for a weekend of, well, try and make cabinets fit I think. Going to try and get all the shower put back tomorrow, get all the door back in, get all the accessories back on again, and uh, then yeah, try and get the cabinets in. Well, I've got to get the floor down first, actually, then get the cabinets in, and then we're about there. Been a bit of a slog, but almost on the home stretch. Hello internet, it's Saturday, it's about 8 o'clock at night, but I've had quite a productive day. Look at this, shower's all back in, all the appliances are on, all sealed up, floor's down, yeah. Just the cabinets now, and a very good clean up, obviously. A really good clean up, <laughs> and a paint. Yeah, there you go, it's been a very, very long day. But I've got to say, didn't do a bad job, so far anyway. All right, join me for the next exciting update, which will probably be Sunday. Wife will be excited then, because we might have some cabinets in. Who knows? So today, internet, is a dirty old job, and somebody's got to do it. Me. So, inevitably the stack pipes, all that sort of stuff, didn't, uh, didn't go where I needed it to go. So, yeah, as you can see, got some new bits, got a toilet, um, took all the stack apart, and now trying to make it so it hits about there. That's the centre line there. So, uh, hmm, this is becoming a bit of a challenge. Didn't uh, didn't think it would be this much of a challenge, but it is. But then, there you go. It's a Sunday. I've got all day to work on it. But um, I kind of wanted today to get the cabinets in. But at the moment, the cabinet sits there with the plimp and the dog and the wife. <laughs> right, let's get on with it. Well, there's always highs and lows when you're doing jobs, but. This is Sunday, and uh, it's getting off five o'clock, and it's been a complete waste of my day. Got <sighs> so many problems with the soil pipe, as you can see. I bought so many different bits and bobs to try and get around it. I just can't get a good angle to get the toilet seated properly. Um, yeah, it's just. Um, it's just a nightmare, to be honest. I've tried every combination. And, uh, yeah, I just can't get it over far enough. It really is pain in the ass. But um, I'll keep persevering. What I need to do is try and get uh, something there that is more a 90 degree socket angle. I've got a smaller one, but it's still not doing it at the moment. So, as you can see, I still have issues with, uh, with the alignment. Not good. Right. Is it time for a beer yet? Well, good evening, YouTube and sweet revamp fans. Well, here we are again. It's Tuesday evening. Um, the week's going quick, and the weekend went even quicker. But today, I got myself... Let me move the door out of the way got myself a 90 degree soil pipe which has solved the problem of centralizing that pipe there that is in a place now where a flexi pipe will go between the toilet just there and into the pipe itself so problem solved uh, tonight as you can see I fitted that um, got the pipe dropped and we're in a position now where everything goes flush against the wall he says move that across a bit there you go so everything's flush against the wall 
and I've got the piping in, the, the cold feed for the toilet just down there. Uh, I've got the overflow in there, um, which I'll take off the old system because this didn't come with one. I think I just put a blanket plate on or leave it or do something with it. But I'd rather have an overflow. Um, I don't really want water pouring out all over the place. So I uh, just need to cut the joints for that just to finish that off. Um, yeah, so it's, it's coming along. Slow progress. But hopefully by the weekend we should see a bit of an improvement. Um, did a little bit more filler in today, just tidied the walls up. Um, we have chosen a colour to go on the walls, um, but not going to say what that is at the moment. It's not probably what you think. Um, ordered the blind last night and order and also ordered, get my words out, and not even another beer yet, and um, also ordered some real oak skirting to finish off the gap between the door and the tiles. Oh, and also, yeah, did that tonight. Made a little uh, little fill-in panel to go on there that's all tiled. So yeah, the shower's all functional now. That will work. You can actually use that. And uh, yeah, it's it is getting there. Um, hopefully by the weekend, yeah, I can do bits and bobs each night and um, yeah, finish it all off. Um, if that looks a bit crazy there, do not worry. I'm sure you're not, but don't worry anyway because that bit there will be finished off with a blanking panel. Um, the worktop comes sort of across there and there's a blanking panel it goes down there yeah it kind of I, don't know, I suppose you could call it a waste of space but it will make it look flush and it will finish it off and uh, it'll look pretty good and also obviously a little infill panel on that side as well um, to bring that up to the wall so yeah there you go that is the update for a Tuesday um, stay tuned for more exciting <laughs> kind of not really on sweet revamps coming through the week Thanks for sticking with me and uh, thanks for subscribing. Bye all.